guys and welcome. Today we are decorating our dining room for Easter. But first, I gotta keep uh, clean up certain things. Uh, it needed to be. It was in a desperate need of dusting. I am using Method All Purpose Cleaner to dust all of the furniture pieces. After I finish dusting, I move on to this three-tier tray that I had actually DIY'd over on my DIY channel, and um, uh, I keep it in my dining room because it is the only spot that it looks good in my opinion. So welcome, my name is Sonia, and this is my home channel where you will find tons of cleaning and decorating inspiration. So I have recently purchased this Nespresso uh, organizer, coffee uh, pot organizer, and I absolutely love the way coffee looks in it. It has a glass top so you can see it uh, because the colors of the coffee are different for every uh, flavor of the coffee and it just looks so pretty through the glass. Now the only pickle is is that you constantly want to keep it full because that's where, where it looks really good. So once I have it all nice and clean, the sideboard and the coffee's all arranged, I move on to um, decorating the tiered tray. I still had a couple things left over from uh, the other time I decorated, I think it was Valentine's Day. I took all the Valentine's um, off, it was just uh, the greenery and a couple knickknacks that were still on it. As you all know, most of my decor is very budget friendly. I either DIY'd it or it had come from a dollar store. I do have a couple pieces that came from Marshalls um, and maybe a couple other stores, but very rarely. Um, because I change out my decor seasonally, it does get a little expensive to uh, be shopping at like major stores. So I like to buy all of my um, uh, seasonal decor uh, as cheap as possible um, you know there are a couple like statement pieces that I'll pick up but I'll usually do home sense which is winners uh, same company because their uh, things tend to be a little bit cheaper So then I move on to decorating the rest of the sideboard and for some reason this year I seem to be struggling more than usual with decorating certain furniture pieces. Um, so I, it's like I said it's a trial and error until I reach the look that I'm satisfied with. I've tried to use this DIY sign almost in every room uh, that I have decorated, but it's just not working for me. I also want to mention that if this is your first time stopping by my channel, I would love it if you considered subscribing, joining my YouTube family, and pressing the notification bell. Um, I do decorating videos very often, and it's sprinkled in with some cleaning and organizing as well. Uh, 
I love this baby's breath that I picked up last year at Dollarama. I don't think I've seen it this year, um, but I used it so much last year and I'm trying to incorporate it again this year. I just think it looks so good for springtime and even for some of the summer decor I used it last year. And I love using at Easter time these eggs as fillers. I think they're great for filling up trays, um, tear trays, or even little nooks and crannies where you can stick an egg in. Um, obviously the larger eggs I like using for decorating uh, pieces, but these little eggs are great to fill baskets as well. And I just love the way they look. And they all came from either Dollar Tree or Dollarama. Now I move on to my tea card that sits in a corner. Uh, this is a brand new piece for me. I have just um, got uh, bought it off of a friend and uh, redid it. And then um, because I've always wanted to have a tea card, I think it's a great thing to have for entertaining. Uh, we do entertain quite a bit when we can. At this time, we're still at five, so it's kind of hard. But um, nevertheless, I hope the time comes when I get to use this piece. I do need to clean this um, tea set because it has kind of went black and I do this about once a year where I clean do, do a great job cleaning it if you would like to see how I do that please let me know down in the comments and I will make a video for it but I love the way it looks on this tea card I think it makes it look even more vintage than it already is and I always want to add a little bit of seasonal decor, so I'm adding a tiny bunny that came from Dollar Tree. The bottom I am going to decorate, but first I uh, noticed how dusty that vent was, so I wiped that down. Uh, this bucket I have DIY'd as well. Um, I if you want to see any of my Easter DIYs, I have a DIY playlist over on my DIY channel that says Spring and all of my Easter and Spring DIYs are in there. And here is a touch of uh, color. I'm adding these lavender springs that came from Dollar Tree. I am very happy with the way this tea card looks. So the, tea, uh, the table needed some cleaning. I do not know why there were dirty socks on my table, but leave it to the teenagers. Um, so I take everything off. I just kind of been placing the decor that I was using for decorating just to see how um, it's going, what I needed, what I didn't. Now I put all of the pieces away, wipe down the table, and then move on to decorating it. tablecloth I had for several years um, and I typically used it over on my dining room uh, dinette table but 
um, this time I decided to use it here since I made a tablecloth for that table it was a smidgen too short but it, it, it is what it is it has to work because I'm not going to start to buy another one so um, it I'll make it work and then I'm using this tobacco basket that had come from Marshall's it was on clearance I think I had paid like seven dollars for it or something like that and then I fill it with some greenery from Dollarama I love this garland that they have um, it's a boxwood garland I've been using it for in several decorating um, areas in my house and then I add this bunny this is like the least creepiest bunny I could find on in Dollarama so I'm using him and then I fill it with white and colored eggs as well as the speckled eggs that I mentioned came from Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree or and Dollarama. Being so damn naive, it only hurts. I'm so tired of I mentioned before I love decorating uh, my tables with some sort of trays something that I can pick up and move over when I need to use the table without disturbing too much of my decor as you can see I actually opted for just white eggs now the last thing that I decorate is top of my hutch. This is something new that I have recently started decorating. I think it was last summer. Um, and I love um, adding seasonal touches on top of it. I didn't think I would, but I had, like I said, I started last summer and I've been enjoying it ever since. And while I was up there, I realized how dusty my hutch was, so I just give it a good wipe down. I am getting ready to do some major spring cleaning. In about two weeks, I will be off from my full-time job for the whole week, so I will try and clean my whole um, house, uh, do this deep spring cleaning during that week, which I, of course, will share it here. So here it is. I absolutely love the way the hutch turned out and if you had enjoyed this video and um, like to see more decorating videos make sure your subscribe button is pressed uh, clicked as well as the notification bell so you don't miss out any of my uploads and until next time hope you guys have a wonderful day and thank you all so much for watching and I hope you all have a happy Easter